Hello, and today we're playing Command and Conquer Red Alert 3, the Ultimate Edition. Uh, Joe is playing as the Soviets against the Allies, is it? Yep. Right, so the camera works. I've got a basic base going. Uh, I'm beginning to start an expansion. Now, the enemy is on the top right of the minimap, as far as I know. Shouldn't be really anywhere else, hopefully. I've started being attacked from the ocean, but any time from over the ocean. So these are my tested troopers. I'm sending these into some bull props. Well, that lets me bull props. Now the attacks are going to be quite pitiful at this stage of the game if they're going to attack me. Yeah, so I've built really fast to get to this stage. So he's from the ocean. I've got Tesla coils out. Uh, if any of my ships get weak, I send it next to this crusher. As long as you don't send them into the crusher, these little droids will come over and fix the ship itself. If it goes into the crusher, it's quite obvious. You get a bunny. Because you crush your boat. You have scrap parts. And um, the and the Drams family gets a nice condolence letter. Right, so I'm He made to... good pedigree pedigree show. I'm setting up a second island over here. Mainly so I can get more resources and I can build more zeppelins and build a bigger attack when it comes to the end. So I'm building four of these. Oh, they're starting to bomb me, so it means they've got an air force going. So it's lucky I started building these then. Now I haven't bought any upgrades yet. The unique thing about this one, which the original Command and Conquerors didn't have, is you can buy various upgrades which can benefit you in battle. How many of the Command and Conquer games have you played, Joe? I've got the original Red Alert down there. I think you've already got one. And, and that's really all. I've got the original Command and Conquer as well, but I don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. well, it's not you're a big fan of the series. Right, I'm going to build myself a Natasha. Natasha is the, the Russian version of Tanya. She's really good though. It's one of my favourites in this. So I'm going to build a few Zeppelins. Now Zeppelins, even though they're being incredibly, incredibly slow, are the one of the toughest things out there. Even though they're just balloons. Yeah, well they, they can destroy a city in about a minute. Really. Yeah, because they drop nukes. They drop loads and loads of bombs. Right, so we go. I'm starting to get a second old refinery out there. Get two up at once. When you get multiple core buildings, you can flip between the two of them. So the attacks, like I say, are going to be quite pitiful at the moment. I don't really need to over worry about anything. I can get myself a Dreadnought sub -sub. They're quite cool. At the moment, I have been spending a lot of money. My aircrafts are going to start protecting this area a bit. I have to say, Command and Conquer is the only RTS I can really stand watching. Yes. Why is that? Because I generally hate RTSs. I know that. Well, this, this is boring to me, but this one is relatively interesting. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to get another Bullfrog in. Now, Bullfrogs are uh, a vehicle that have anti-air guns on them. And what happens is you can fire troops out of the bullfrog a long distance onto land. So my aim, main aim is to get Natasha into the enemy base and let her just go mad as all my troops just provide a massive distraction. Good plan. There we go. Nothing can stop a Tesla coil. Tesla coils are quite boss in this. It's a shame Edison shot Tesla down. We could all have free energy by now. I know. This point, yeah. yeah, I don't see why they just do it, obviously because it's free and they can't make money out of them. But with Tesla coils, we wouldn't have to rely on normal, rely on fossil fuels. We'll be able to power everything from the occasional lightning strike. Yeah. And um, they're probably in the place where lightning strikes are most. I have no clue where that is. Nah, I'm not too sure myself. Obviously they're all random kind of things, but it's going to be somewhere that has more thunderstorms in places because of the air pressure. Is that right? Air pressure? Thunderstorms? It's about heat after that, it's far too long. Well, that wouldn't be right, otherwise the desert would have problems. 
No, uh, not necessarily the heat, I think it's due to like, heat and pressure. It's only some more to do with things. Yeah. It's kind of a big one that every, a couple of places in the country, and people, when people complain, just slap them. Right, so uh, I'm going to get some bullfrogs over there, send a few stingrays, give them a bit of protection. Right. We've got five minutes to attack the enemy. It's not a possession to make it over there in five minutes. Really, it takes. It that takes ages. Look how slow the move. Jesus, man. Oh, all right, we're here. Oh, we've won. Now, I could carry all the vehicles over. Natasha could swim faster. Well, that's why I've got the bullfrogs. Yeah. The battery is kind of freaking me out. Oh, it's been on the red since two minutes in. I think it's just being funny. Right, I've got the super magnetic satellite. Let's just open back in there just quickly. Yeah. Now I'm not playing on land, so... Yeah, this is all AI. This is just AI. Joe doesn't have PSN. No. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Right, you're trying to get inside. I'm trying to get inside, yeah. Come on. Now as you can see, that's going to take the ages to destroy that one thing. But you've got a cheap laptop now, so you don't have to use that phone all the time. Yeah, yeah, well, I've got to get rid of the jeans free. So, in come my troops. Sorry about the black line, it's because of all the movement on the screen, there's no telly. Now, unfortunately, they get shot to ribbons here. If I can get them into these buildings, I'm relatively safe. Okay, we need to be Now Natasha's my boss. Maybe because she is one of the bosses. Is there a chance to kill other bosses, like the allies there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I quite like to see like, sort of, like George the Kai comes down in the pit. He does, he comes out with a battle suit. Oh sweet. Yeah, the the Imperial Japanese are run by George Takai. Right, here we go. So this is the final push, using troops as well, yeah. not vehicles. And you've got less than three minutes to go. Oh, I can, I can just imagine him in office just rolling something. Commander, we have taken over Russia. Hello. Oh. Yes. No, we have taken over Russia. Oh. That's the best I can do. So Natasha calls in the airstrike off, but Natasha's probably going to die now. Time is out. Natasha. Oh, she's dead. Oh, balls. Well, that man fucked up. The Zeppelins! Oh, we got two minutes. Release the Zeppelins! Oh, God. Oh, this Where one's... are my other Zeppelins? Oh, look at that. Well, I can do this, but it's going to cost me a lot of things. Watch this. Pop the Zeppelins cork. The health goes down, but they move dramatically faster. You mean he's just losing air? Yeah. How long is that got? Um, just under two minutes. Probably because the cabin's, the battery's gone down to fully zero, so it could be on its last minute. I really need the battery with this thing, or just a new camera in general. If it's if it conks out, that was um, Command and Conquer Red Alert three. Playing as the Russians against the Allies, a bit of gameplay. Yeah. Yeet. Yeah. I think I better end it there because it's making beeping noises. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're just going to say it's going to be total annihilation. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.